What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. And a lot of people are always asking me about Chief Keith and the JoJo World and FBG. And do I think that should have ever be squashed? And my answer is, man, as much as I want to say, yeah, I don't think it'll ever be squashed, you know. And not so much because of the game banging shit, just because it's been a lot of diss records, a lot of shootings, a lot of killings. And I'm not saying the FBG or JoJo World was behind that shit. I'm just saying the fact that Sosa took a lot of losses and, you know, beefs in Chicago and shit like that, that just make it even more reasons why he ain't really fucking with that Chicago shit. You know, it's been a lot of killings, a lot of shootings, a lot of, a lot of shit, you feel me? And guess who took the biggest brunt of all that shit. Chief Keith. This guy has lost a lot of people. And not just so much the people that you guys know, like his uh his stepbrother, his half brother, uh his cousin, uh uh Blood Money, he lost Capo. Man, this guy has lost a lot more people that you guys might not know that's just like in the streets and shit like that, that's affiliated with him and Glow Gang and shit like that. I just think that's too much for this guy to just overcome. You know, he almost like the mecca of the drill movement shit. People consider him the king, the Elvis Presley of this rap shit, you know, and I just don't think that he, uh, um, kind of end the beef, even though I think it'd be good for hip hop, it'd be good for the youth, I think maybe if we could revisit this question 20 years from now let the guy get 30, 40 years old then ask him that shit, but right now I just think he too young, he living his life, and this op shit that's going on, you gotta understand, this shit is real dangerous, Chief Keith tell tells the stories and shit about people chasing him, or him chasing people, hawking them down, fucking them up, and remember, he also had a lot of songs where he dissed people like Tuka, he was dissing JoJo and shit like that, and those guys were dissing him and dissing Odie and all kind of shit like that. Even though I do believe people grow up in the dissing and shit, that's cool. People will get past that. Maybe even a fight you can get past that. But the fact that this guy has lost a lot of people, you know, Chief Keith lost a lot of people that he know has been killed. You know, a lot of people credit Dirk and say Dirk they lost a lot of people in his rap shit. Chief Keith lost about the same amount of people in his rap shit. And the whole city of Chicago put the violence on this guy. Don't get me wrong. I do think he's guilty of monetizing off of the violence and making a lot of money off of graphic tales and shit like that. But this is a young dude in this music. You got to quit censoring this shit and understand that this for the young people. And it is fucked up about some of the stories that he tell. But instead of looking at it like, why the fuck is he saying that shit? You got to look at it like, damn, he really seen this shit in the community he grew up in? I would love to see a song with him and FBG Duck. I think that should have do 100 million views. I think that should have put an end to a lot of violence. A lot of people to fuck with people that they was afraid to fuck with. But unfortunately, the fact that this guy has lost close family members, close people, you know, and the war is... People say that he started the war in the media eyes. They might say that that's the case, but in real life, this shit was going on before the end. But leave me a comment. I'll let to know what y'all think about this. And most definitely subscribe to my channel. Blech!